And there it is, Vexana. Wow, Brockard, look at the CC, man. <laughs> CC's insane, actually. No, no, I'm talking about the crowd control. That's right. <laughs> it's layered. <laughs> so, hey, and Joseph, welcome, welcome to game to one here. Legends. It's match number one in our triple header. It's RSG Philippines and Blacklist International. Again, I'm Nice and this is Ingon for the matchup. Now, interesting that, you know, I agree, the panel mentioned this. I love the I love both drafts that came out to play here, but that's the thing. I think Leo hit it on the head. You have this momentum from yesterday that Blacklist International brings to this game. They want to scrap, they want to fight. The synergy was great yesterday. But you're up against a team that loves that chaotic playstyle. They love to battle it out. Oh, Lord JM. Speaking of battle it out right now, they're going for the XP oh. lane. Lord JM pops his vengeance over here, and the Todd coming in from Blacklist. RSG though, working on light. Light's gonna escape. Aqua comes in. And that's what you were saying. Yeah. RSG loves to fight. That was a fast rotation onto the bottom lane right away. Yeah, a whole lot of fighting. Um, and like to, to go to that point more, RSG, because of their play style, the way that they like to approach the game, they've also got two revitalizes, by the way. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yo, yo, blitz. Here comes Amphi, the king. First blood going to take down Nibor. Going to let light live so far. That's a kill MP the King wants with Hayabusa. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, going back to all of what I was just saying is they've got the tools to fight, but when you give a first blood kill to a Hayabusa, mind you, MP the King, in the way that he plays as a player, um, he could snowball this into pretty much out of control territory. And we saw, you know, recently, I think this was last week even, or just even the performance that we saw yesterday, where Demon Kite, especially on the Hayabusa last week, snowball the game entirely out of control where it was hard to get back from that. So, you know, part of this too, interesting, Haji is also running the Warcry Emblem on the Loy Yi. This is going to be um, a lot of extra, I feel like, burst damage, which might pop up with the way that her kit works here. So that might be something that keeps RSG's fighting style and chaotic style in check a little bit. But as we get to this, again, nothing more happening. Some action on the bottom lane, but this turtle is up here. And Blacklist will go ahead and start things up. Perk's not level 4 just yet. And you can see already Purple Buff is going to be the focus from MP the King right now. And you can see the community prediction literally riding from Blacklist performance yesterday. 65.5% voted for Blacklist to win this series. I mean, they went up against FCAP, swept them, so... Uh, I'm not blaming the community for voting Blacklist. I feel like they needed that. You know, a lot of the agents, uh, just in general, what happened yesterday, ev got everyone excited to see what's going to happen here. So now, finally, MP the King's got his buffs. He's going to get ready to go ahead and get in position. Everybody, really, for this first turtle. And honestly, they're taking their time for it. I mean, even even so, Irad making his way. But I don't know. Either no, Neither team wants to actually commit to it just yet. Yeah. I mean, even Lord JM just really zoning out Nebor. You can really feel the nerf onto the high loss. And with this Lord JM CC pick, you won't expect any setups from him. You can actually expect a lot of damage coming in from CC as Blacklist works on the turtle. Well, here it is. Okay, it's going to go for a reset still. The threat of having the high loss here too. Irad shows up. They drop down the pathway. And here comes the glorious pathway. Plus the AOG is not going to connect onto anyone. MP the King working on light. Stun coming in from light. MP the King cast a weak shadow kill as well as the implosion uh -huh. gets the kill onto light. Now Tempest of Blades wants to go right after Haji. KDA machine. Perks working on the ring. Oh. Punishment. And what a beautiful diversion play to escape Irad. Haji the KDA machine. Devor. Alive and Lord JM takes down Nibor. <laughs> so much happened in that fight. Oh, hold on. Oh, look at MP? that eternal guard onto MP the King. He has to use the quad shadow out, and still the first turtle is alive. <laughs> All right. First turtle, no one's going to get it just yet. Maybe now that Eren has the purple buff, but man, even earlier on, I don't know if we're going to get a replay of it, but good timing and, and the amount of just resources left that Haji was able to escape with his life was. Great to see. Ultimately, though, Blacklist is still going to find themselves with a nice little lead, 1.5k ahead. Some of the items will be falling in place. Those first items being locked in here shortly. And for RSG, that's what that's what they're going for. Those kind of extended team fights because of the fact that they have this high lows and the Gatacacha, yeah. plus the two revitalized, like I mentioned earlier. And then even so, Aqua with an Eternal Guard. 
is all going to help part of that. So now, once again, we find ourselves at the first turtle take. Okay, Ira, the survey, you see it's going to be a retribution battle, but MP the King gets the turtles. The glorious pathway will be cast, and they want to work on perks <laughs> here. Four members of RSG surrounding perks. Will he be able to escape? He has the implosion. He's not going to cast it. Turtle Blast is there. Ring of Punishment Burks. coming in from Nibor. And Nibor's going to bring him down. A Spear of Destruction is not going to hit. And Lord JM so getting damage coming in from Light. He has to walk away, though, as they work on Nibor. A killing spree coming in from MP the King. So they go and trade it out. Objective goes to Blacklist International. You got the one for one. It was a roamer for you have your XP lane. Now, going back to it, all of this is what I'm going to say, er, what I said earlier. MP the King sitting on three kills. You know, as he continues to snowball this high boost, that's where that threat comes even further. We haven't even seen the effect that this combination of a Tigreal and a Louis Yi can yeah. cause. You know, Oheb missed the Spear of Destruction, but ultimately he's fine. He's just going to keep farming up because of that matchup against the Harith for Kose here. And look at this, he's actually working on getting this first turret. Okay, Kose goes in. But a pushback coming in from Oheb. Now, I like that you mentioned uh, the Luyi and the Tigreal hasn't even been activated yet. And you have to consider also in RSG's kit, they have two purifies for Aqua and for Kose. So it's not going to be easy for Perks to have those setups. But again, we've seen Perks yesterday with the Tigreal. A beautiful last implosion play up oh. against three. Now a diversion play coming in from Haji. Yeah, diversion. Just for some backup, you know, at that point. Again, a lot of pressure here. And that's one thing that... At least I would say, especially for Oheb, I don't know. For a while, we saw so many Moscows, right? And part of it is just go up, farm, do your thing, show up with the Spear of Destruction. Yeah. But if you, you know, you miss those Spear of Destruction, especially earlier on, you're almost just better off, you know, not obviously making your way down there, committing or anything. Just farm as much as you can and then show up later. Right now, you can see the focus because of the pressure up here. Oh! A solo kill for Iran as he takes down Oheb and now an RSG charging oh. in. Perks with a beautiful implosion play as MP the King will bring down Light. Look at the board just trying to soak up the damage coming in from Lord JM. MP the King wants to go back. Now the Raiders have to retreat. Will MP the King go in? He still has the oh, Weaky Shadow it. kill. He goes in with a quad shadow. Oh. Plus a Weaky Shadow kill to bring down two. And MP the King, you want to talk about snowball? 6 0 1, seven minutes in. He's doing it. MP the King, when we saw the Hayabusa picked up, I swear I saw a smirk on his face, and this is exactly what MP needs here. He's going to get this turtle as well. So a whole lot, again, is going in value for Blacklist International. It's great. Irad got a kill. He got the push down on, on that Tier 1 turret. You see what's happening here. Blacklist is going to send multiple members now to push in that Tier 1 on the bottom. So a lot right now is all value for Blacklist, but RSG is finding what they can. And yeah. that's the thing. With the lineup that they have, it's almost to the same sense. You know, you kind of try to, you're trying to gouge or trying to slow down the bleeding a little bit here. And at this point, then you allow, you know, hopefully Kosei later on to shine on the Harith. You get great setups yourself, but that is the, the, the point there earlier on when you mentioned it. Perks got a great implosion. And that kind of has to happen here for RSG, whether that's the God of Contra going in with the uh, Avatar of the Guardian or even the Glorious Pathway to cut things off. Yeah, and I just really want to comment first. I heard this yesterday uh, from the Filipino panel. Uh, Brigida mentioned how Perks is a good uh, Tigreal user because he just doesn't go for the implosion right away. He really waits for it. Even he if waits, yeah. his HP is low, as long as he knows that it's not the best time to cast the implosion, he's not going to cast it. He doesn't... and. Part of that, too, is just the way that uh, the discipline game, I guess, that you have to play. It, and part of this oh. lineup, too, is so, hold on. AOG on to the Woo. middle lane as a shutdown. Will it see on to MP the King? Here comes the Raiders. Irad still has the Finch. Oh. Boys wants to go right after Lord JM and on to Haji. Tempest of Blades. Lord JM gets done there by Nibor. They have to walk away with a 7.3k gold lead as RSG finally finds the kill, finds the shutdown that they were looking for on to MP. It's good they got the shutdown. It's good they at least, you know, got a little extra gold in the exchange. But it's almost feeling like at one point they have to keep finding these wins because yeah. of the deficit right now that they're working against. And really, when you look at RSG's play style right now, the way that they're trying to find those moments, it's a little disjointed because of the fact of composition versus composition, the way that they have to lean into those team fights if they will. And... Honestly, for RSG and knowing how they like to approach this game, even if they're down 
uh, you know, so to speak. Okay, so we had a correction there. That was. You can see the, the gold, actual gold difference now, it looks like. So it wasn't as massive anymore because they got that shutdown. So yeah. they're in a position to actually go in for this Lord, and that's what we're, we were building up. Snowball is great, but if it gets shut down, then you can go ahead and now fight for it. So it's at 1.5K for Blacklist. Yeah. So there you go. I think one of the major problems Raiders are facing is that they had to commit three ultimates just to bring down MP the King. I, I saw it in the minimap. It started off with Light with the AOG that follow up by the Glorious Pathway. And as soon as they caught MP the King, Aqua with a beautiful uh, internal guard to really yeah. shut down MP the King. For me, that's worth it though. Yeah, like, it's worth it. Especially it's MP the King. So yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, go for it. Get that shut down, get the gold, and set yourselves up now for being able to contest this Lord and get in position. And that's where, you know, this lineup, I think, is going to be difficult to uh, play against. All they really have to do on the flip side is get perks that set up if he can. And th at the same time, we don't see CC often, yeah. you know, but uh, the fact that Lord JM decided to go and play it this time around, I'm wondering if that'll be enough to have use in the fight. You can see Perks already popping the conceal. Okay, who wants to go for the implosion again? It's going to be a retribution battle, but MP the King is not there. Ira takes away the Lord, and here comes the Clash. First man down is Light and Ira as they oh. get a double. Oheb with a Spear of Destruction, trying to work on Hylos as Lord JM goes in with the Yo-Yo Blitz. Nimor oh. going to fall down in the hands of Oheb. That's three members down. MP the King goes in for Kose. <laughs> Look at the Shurikens to bring him down and works on the middle lane. RSG got the Lord, but Blacklist got four Raiders. Oh, that's tough. They're going to send the Diversion to deal with the Lord. RSG might have got the objective, but man, did they just get handed in that team fight. And you can see how good they're going to feel about it, too. Now, Blacklist, when they went for that and they made, they made that work, again, a lot of this, it, it's so great to see, you know, fancy footwork from the Assassin Junglers, but... I always got to give credit to the Roamers, man. The Roamers, yeah. especially with their set potential, Integral, like one of the most OG heroes possibly in the game, right? Still having this concept of uh, a multiple approach to getting those setups and changing the course of some of these team fights are amazing to see. Now, on for RSG at this point, they're finding themselves in that similar position where their backs are against the wall. They have to utilize at this point Harith. Like, where is that damage going to be? You have so much magic damage actually as a whole over here that once those defensive items, even from Blacklist, starts to pop up, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, you know? Because even for Irad, it's not like he can really find the windows that he's looking for. You know, he's got to be a little more crucial too once he has that Tempest Blades and it's used up. And you already saw some of the defensive items being picked up too. Oheb just got his Wind of Nature. I mean, honestly, it's it's a hard game for Irad because, again, the potential of perks to have the implosion set up as well as what Lord JM's been doing. Look at the KDA of the CC, 109. He's been zoning out every single member. Even Nibor with the high loss and yep. Light with the Gatot Kacha can't just, you know, frontline for RSG anymore because they really have to soak up the damage before they uh, are able to set up. And with what Lord JM is doing, it's just too much for RSG to handle. Like. You have to look for Oheb, you have to look for Haji and MP the King, but the problem is Lord James just keeps showing himself. And by the time you notice that Lord James is there, you're almost half health. Yeah, pretty much, you know, at that point. And uh, it, looking at the items real quick too, you know, even for Lord Jam, like he's got Dominant Ice, he's got the War Axe, working on his next item. Some of the damage department items too for, like we were saying, MP the King, how much he was scaling up. He's there, but Irad has done a relatively good job at keeping at least the gold between the two. Yeah. Pretty much even, like he's not that far ahead. So even Irad is still a threat. It's more so of the timing on everything. The amount of uh, pressure that comes from him, especially, like I said, those defensive magic items will be built up. The Athena shield being picked up by Lord JM. Part of Lord JM's job on the CC with the Vengeance is literally just to be an annoyance. You know, get in the faces here of RSG, cause some chaos, and make them think twice about actually engaging. And then all of a sudden, there's perks. You know, that's part of it. So you can see now Blacklist playing with that concept in mind, that idea in mind, they can actually go ahead and take their time with the Lord. If they decide to just respond to RSG, then they can. Otherwise, they both play with those conceals. Right now, neither team kind of just standing off against each other. They know that the purifies of RSG are still up. So, Perks, I mean, wants to really 
force RSG to pop those purifies before committing those implosion plays and just really work on this Lord. But okay, this is the thing. If Blacklist continuously works on split pushing, like they just sent MP the King onto the. <laughs> It's such, Look a, at the quad it's such a good use of yeah. yeah. Honestly, just to work on the slow push onto the bottom lane. Good push. Uh, we've seen teams do this plenty of times at this point, you know. Um, that's. I mean, imagine that you're literally traveling halfway across the map <laughs> at that point with that inversion. So there's the push, and that's all they had to do. And so right now, it's going to be working on the Lord here. They send Irad to go deal with it and still the stalemate. So even when you pull that off, like, yeah. if Blacklist continues to do that, there's enough movement, yeah. I would say, from RSG to be able to handle it. So you might have to surprise. There he, they actually send MP again. He's going to come on oh. back. <laughs> Good old travel right there. And they're going to come in onto this Lord. They want to burst it down. That's why Nimbor has to use the course oh. pathway to try and zone him MP. MP just working on the brush. AOG is going to connect onto no one. As Nimbor tries to walk Ooh. away, the Lord damage is too much. Ira though, also MP? waiting on the brush. MP goes in with a weaky shadow kill onto four oh. members. Nimbor still survives, and Light has to go in there up against four members. He's the first man down as Ira pops his Tempest oh. and the Implosion from Perks to set up the Raiders as MP the King picks up a double. <laughs> wow! I am going to say it time and time again from Perks every single time we've seen him play this Tigreal. He does a phenomenal job at finding those catches and like that, now they go for the base. MP the King once again works on the back line as he brings down Kosei to complete the wipeout and a clean game one win as Blacklist rides on their momentum. The momentum from yesterday is definitely here today. The Blacklist showing patience, but also just the decisiveness to go for this game number one. Very good win here for them in this series. The P 